Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Penguin and welcome to an unboxing video of the Track IR Pro 5 with, if you can see that, the Track Clip Pro. So I recently bought this and I'm going to unbox it, so here we go. Now just a little disclaimer I suppose, uh, I've already opened it. I haven't had to play around with it, but I've already opened it just to make sure everything's there, make sure nothing's broken, and I am happy to say everything's there, and everything, uh, and nothing's broken. So yeah, here we go. So uh, what should we start off with? Ah, uh, let's start off with this, this thing. It's a bit of sticky tape there. All right. So this is like the little webcam thing. If I shine it up enough, you should. There you go. Oh, it's like a reflection. Look at that. You can see my webcam. Webcam on webcam action. <laughs> um, but it's not a webcam. It's a. Uh, it's a receiver, and it receives either this thing, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Or this thing. This is the this is the main article. This is what it's all about. This is the uh, the big gun, if we're going to say. So yeah, um, that's that. We'll have a look more of that in a minute. Here is a uh, a little book. See the this is this is more for the Track Clip Pro. Uh, basically tells you how to attach it, which I'll uh, I'll run through in a moment. Here at the bottom oh, is oh, hang on, let me have a look. I haven't, I haven't actually looked at this. There might be a uh, keys on there. Well, by the time the vid this video goes out, I'll have activated them, so they'll be useless to you guys anyway. Uh, software download instructions basically tells you where to go. Uh, there's a link, and then a quick start guide. Pretty cool. Put those to one side. So yeah, back to the uh, the webcam looking type thing. Comes with a. Uh, I don't know how long this cable is. Does it say? I don't think it says on on there. No, I don't think it says. Uh, it's, it looks fairly long. Uh, Velcro strap to keep it all together. I, whoa, they've overdone it on the Velcro. <laughs> right. I think that somehow that comes off somehow. Uh, let me just. I think that comes off. There we go. I think I've cracked it. Because I won't, I won't be needing this Velcro strap, so it can come off. There we go. So it's a, uh, a fairly long cable. It'll definitely reach from my PC to... Well, it doesn't actually reach from the PC to the monitor. That That's that. Now let's have a look at the, the big gun. You see this here, that, where's the, uh, the connection? Fits into that, like so. You see that? And then that, this little thing, USB, plugs into your PC. Uh, another pretty long tick cable, we're not going to not going to unravel that just yet. So that's that. that. This is the receiver, and then you get a little uh, a stand for it, and it's a magnetic stand. I've already had a look at this. So this opens out like that, and it is basically like it sits on top of your monitor like a webcam. Um, mag magnetizers on there, and then that will sit on the monitor. I'm not going to show you sitting on the monitor because I can't because I'm using the webcam to record 
and then when I show you when I show you me using it, the webcam's going to be on me. But just know, imagine here is a monitor; it sits on the monitor. So there we go. That's the receiver. Now, there's two things that the receiver picks up. There's this thing, which is the it, it cl basically clips onto a hat. Um, a baseball cap or something like that. I don't have one. I don't have a baseball cap around to show you, but it's it it just slips onto the baseball cap, and then you you'd wear the baseball cap, and it would uh, pick it up like so. And if you don't know what track IR is, I, sh I probably should have explained this at the beginning. But it basically it tracks your head movement in the game, and I am going to show you what it does and how it works in a moment. But basically, if you move your head left, it'll move your head left in the game. So, for things like ETS2, uh, Flight Sim, OMSI, stuff like that, it'll uh, it'll move the head. Now, this, I did say, is the big gun. This is, this is more responsive because this is plugged in. And these three points here, this one, this one, and this one, these actually light up. And you'll be able to see this on the video one when I plug it in these light up and they're picked up by that receiver and then when you move your head it moves your head in the game and it's a lot better it's a lot better uh, what's the word connection let's say whereas this 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 goes off light these reflective strips here it goes off light so if you're in a poorly lit room or the lighting isn't even this probably won't work if you were to buy just the Track IR, you'd just get this. But if you were to buy the Track IR with the Track Clip Pro, which is this, is the Track Clip Pro, you'd get this. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move on and I'm going to show you how it clips to your headset. Right, so here we are with my very old headset. In fact, if you're from the early days of my channel, this is the headset I started off with. Um, it is. It's absolutely. In fact, it doesn't work. I mean, look at the cable. It is it's dead. But I'm. You, I'm just. I, I've saved it uh, because I thought I might need a use for it one day, and here, here it is now. And basically, I'm just using it for example purposes um, because the current headset that I've got, I'm wearing right now. So here's how the Track Clip Pro works. Basically, there's a. It'd be better if I showed you. This here unclips like that, and this opens up. It is it is very fragile, guys. So if if you were to get this, be very careful because it is expensive and it is a very fragile piece of kit. Um, I'm I'm one to break things. Uh, I'm not very careful, so I'm have to I'm having to be really careful not to break this thing. Anyway, so. As it says in the Track Clip Pro user guide, uh, quick start guide, let's just take a look, another look at this. It tells you how it works. So it clips onto your headset. Wait for it to focus. Clips onto your headset. It is it's for, it, it snaps shut, attaches above your left ear only. And it shows you how to connect to the computer, the software setup, which we'll take a look at, uh, suggestions and warnings, so the optimal configuration, less than ideal, and excessive twisting, excessive twisting may damage internal wiring. So, yeah, you have to be careful. So here is how it clips on. Uh, it's, it's really hard to show you guys. I'll do it. I'll do it from. In fact, uh, see, I'm already there. We go. I do it like this, so it slides on. It then put it here. In fact, there's a way to extend it for larger headsets. So currently, it's on the the tighter version or the tighter mode. Basically, you push it, you unclip it. 
like that. You push it up and then you bring it round. You can see it's kind of opened a bit of a gap here. And then you slide it on. And then simply there's like little plastic grooves here, which is probably not the, the best thing to use to clip it on. I'd uh, much prefer something a bit more sturdy. That plastic could break. And there you go. It's on. So imagine my hand here that's holding the headset is my head. I turn it left. Uh, your left and my right may be switched depending on how the video comes out. But left turn turns the head in the game. Left, right, right, up, down. Uh, you can pitch or pitch. Uh, basically, you roll anything, any head movement in it will it'll pick it up with that little sensor that I showed you. So, I think that is about it. Now what we're going to do is, I'm going to plug it in, I'm going to show you how it lights up. And then we're going to go, we're going to plug it back in. Or go, I'm going to switch to my, uh, my computer. I'm going to show you the software and then I'm going to show you using me I'm going to show you me using it in a game right so here it is lit up you can see these lights are now blue in fact looking at them IRL they're not blue but on the camera it picks them up as blue and as I unplug it they go off so that's that's pretty cool I think it must be something to do with the cameras picking it up because, like I said, I I look at that and I, I can't I can't see a difference when it's plugged and unplugged. So that that's pretty neat. It must be some funny kind of light, probably something like infrared. I don't know. Anyway, that's that. It's all lit up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip it to my headset. We're gonna. Go to my uh, one of my monitors, on my PC, and we're going to have a look at the software, configure it. Then we're going to jump in a game, play around with it in the game, and that will be it. Right then, so here we are on the PC, looking at the software that uh, TrackIR provides. It is currently version 5.4, or is it TrackIR 5.4? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, that's weird. Anyway, as you can see now, I'm moving my head, and it, you can see it's tracking my my head movement. This is this is cool. So if I look left, right, up, down, twist, it doesn't do that. Well, it does. Uh, I could go all around. I know. Sometimes it cuts off. Like if I put my hand covering those lights, see how I'm moving, and it's not it's not doing anything. But as soon as I put take my hand off, it cuts back. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's amazing. Anyway, uh, you can you can customize it like absolute mad down here I'm not going to play around with that I don't want to ruin it here's the uh, the supported games I believe there's more on the website uh, these are some of the some of the games that are supported and camera whatever that is uh, see tracking target so the track clip which I a vector clip which I was showing you before and then the track clip pro which is this thing so yeah, that is amazing. You could look at that. It could go really close, and then you could go back out, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And yeah, then you can you can select you can make your own profiles actually. Uh, so if there's any profiles available on the internet that you like the look of you can go download those and use those if you don't want to make your own I'm just gonna use one of the default ones for now 
as I get used to it more, I'll probably make my own profile and uh, customise it to how I like it. But for now, I think I'm fine. Anyway, now, now I've shown you that, the software, and just how amazing it is, we're now going to jump into American Truck Simulator and we're going to have a play around with it in there. Right then, so here we are in American Truck Simulator. So I'm outside the cab and you see I move my head and it's not doing anything. It doesn't work outside the cab. But as soon as I go inside, watch this. Look at that, guys. That honestly is amazing. Well, I can look down. I can look all the way outside. Look in that mirror. Look up. It's a nice Peterbilt. I can look at the sat nav. So I can I can look in like really close. And honestly, it feels weird. I've just I, I had I've just had a little bit of a play around, and I've just been trying to use the mouse, and it feels weird not having to touch it. So, if we go for a bit of a drive. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm just uh, I'm moving something. So I want to look in that mirror. Whoa! It is a bit jumpy. Like I said, I need to configure the profile a bit more. But just for showing you guys now, I think it's pretty. It's pretty cool. feels weird it's like you know you're one step closer to reality and it feels weird I mean I've, I've drove vehicles before but because I've been so used to playing games and looking with the mouse you know trying to do it naturally with my head isn't actually natural I mean I, I guess I'll adjust I can definitely see why people love this and I am one of those people I think this is amazing <laughs> honestly this is, like I said it is a little bit jumpy it does need some work See, I'm not even doing anything, I'm, I'm just having a bit of a practice. Oh, scraping up against the uh, fence. Honestly, oh, I cannot believe how good this is. Ow. See, if I was using the mouse, I probably wouldn't have crashed there, but. The thing is, you can lean in and look at the, uh, the dash display a lot better now. Let's see if we can go out on the open road. See, I was using my, uh, I've got two keys mapped to look left and right, and that just feels natural to me to click, but instead I don't have to do that. I guess I'll adjust, but honestly, this is amazing. Oh. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. So that is it being in Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm going to go back to the uh, the desk the desk camera or the uh, the unboxing camera, and I'll uh, I'll give my final end review, I guess. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for this unboxing of the Track IR 
Pro 5 with the Track Clip Pro. This is the Track Clip Pro. This is the, the Track IR itself. And this is the uh, the thing that sits on your cap. The uh, Oh, I forgot what it's called now. But, uh, yeah, overall, fantastic piece of kit. You know, something... I've never used before, and it's it feels weird um, to be just using my head while playing a video game instead of the mouse. I mean, American Truck Simulator is not the only game this thing works with. This thing works with hundreds of games. Um, some of your favourites, like Battlefield, I think, Armour, Microsoft Flight Simulator, OMSI, Euro Truck... You know, anything you can think of, especially simulators, this thing will probably work with. And that is amazing because I am a really, really big simulator fan. So, yep, yeah, overall, fantastic piece of kit. It's very fragile, so do be careful of that. Uh, it is very responsive and, you know, it is very detailed, so any fine movement it will pick up. Uh, unless you tune it not to, so you set a bit of a dead zone. In the profiler like I said I am going to play around with the profiler a little bit more I have all weekend to play around with it and some of the future videos you'll see it'll be a lot smoother movement once I've had a bit of a play around with it so that is it for now ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching I do apologize this is not the best unboxing video I've ever done uh, I'm actually not quite well at the moment and if you can tell but I really wanted to get this video done uh, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to get it. I couldn't wait to make a video on it so I could show you guys. And I hope, hopefully, I've inspired you guys to get it as well. It's not the cheapest of things. I will put some links down in the description where you can go and buy them from different places Amazon, the Natural Point website. Uh, I'll see if I can find any more. But yeah, that is it for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, favorite and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, whatever video that will be, hopefully with the Track IR Pro 5. ta -ra.